in a mid-air crash in Sandy. And the notorious Mae West, who left most of her leading men speechless, is dead at the age of 88. Oh, you were wonderful tonight. I'm always wonderful at night. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but tonight you were especially good. Well, when I'm good, I'm very good. But when I'm bad, I'm better. <laughs> with pride and wisdom. I'm goodness had nothing to do with it, Jerry. In her own way, she brought sex out into the open. Generations later, the rest of America caught up with her. And for a long time, I was ashamed of the way I lived. You mean to say you reformed? No, I got over being ashamed. Uh, you were wonderful tonight. I'm always wonderful at night. <laughs> Yes, but tonight you were especially good. Well, when I'm good, I'm very good. But when I'm bad, I'm better. <laughs> In her way, she was a liberated woman long before that phrase was ever coined. Nothing intimidated Mae West. Mae West was married once, back in 1910, but soon divorced. She said she liked her time too much to give it up to marriage. On screen, at least, she met her perfect match in W.C. Fields. Whom have I the honor of addressing, m'lady? Mm, they call me Flower Bell. Flower Bell, what a euphonious appellation. Easy on the ears and a banquet for the eyes. Mm, kind of cute yourself. <laughs> Thank you, I never argue with a lady. Smart boy. <laughs> As Mae West got older, the legend continued to grow. Just about every public appearance brought out the press and famous well-wishers, too. The strut may have slowed down a bit, but the wit was still sharp. How do you spend your time these days? Busy, busy, busy. <laughs> <laughs> if you get up around the Grampian Hills, you must come up and see me sometime. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'll do that, my little chickadee. May West, an American original. Steve Edwards, Channel 2 News. Died today after lengthy illnesses. Former House Speaker John McCormick and film star Mae West are dead after lengthy illnesses. McCormick was first elected to the House in 1928. He served a total of 42 years in Congress. West starred in the famous Come Up and See Me Sometime, a siren of films in the 1930s. Both McCormick and West apparently died of natural causes. They were also both 88 years of age. Well, that's a um, no, I got over being ashamed. Uh, you were wonderful tonight. I'm always wonderful at night. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but tonight you were especially good. Well, when I'm good, I'm very good. But when I'm bad, I'm better. <laughs> In her way, she was a liberated woman long before that phrase was ever coined. Nothing intimidated Mae West. Mae West was married once, back in 1910, but soon divorced. She said she liked her time too much to give it up to marriage. On screen, at least, she met her perfect match in W.C. Fields. Whom have I the honor of addressing, m'lady? Mm, they call me Flower Bell. Flower Bell, what a euphonious appellation. Easy on the ears and a banquet for the eyes. Mm, kind of cute yourself. <laughs> Thank you, I never argue with a lady. Smart boy. <laughs> As Mae West got older, the legend continued to grow. Just about every public appearance brought out the press and famous well-wishers, too. The strut may have slowed down a bit, but the wit was still sharp. How do you spend your time these days? Busy, busy, busy. <laughs> <laughs> if you get up around the Grampian Hills, you must come up and see me sometime. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'll do that, my little chickadee. Mae West, an American original. Steve Edwards, Channel 2 News. In the audience was, come up and see me sometime. But Mae West died alone in her elegant Hollywood apartment at the age of 88. John North reports on her career. Mae West was outrageously sexy during a time when sex symbols looked like Jean Harlow. She captured the imagination of Americans the way she captured a then unknown actor called Cary Grant in She Done Him Wrong. You know, I met your kind before. Why don't you come up sometime, huh? Well, I... Don't be afraid, I won't tell. But, uh, 
Come up, I'll tell your fortune. Oh, you can be had. She Done Him Wrong is the film adaptation of her famous Broadway creation, Diamond Lil. Miss West often said of Lil, I'm her and she's me. And that was always a body, independent lady who liked men, dealt with them on her own terms, and always lived by her own rules. I was so worried. Yes, Aunt Lou, I was in a tight spot, but I managed to wiggle out of it. You always do. She was praised and she was condemned, but people loved her style and lined up to see her. And Mae West only made 13 movies. After 1943, she didn't appear in film again for 26 years. First in the controversial Myra Breckenridge, then a 1977 movie called Sextet, released the same year as this Hollywood birthday party. Yet in only a few pictures, she earned a high place in film history. Oh, hello, Mickey. Ah, Lady Lou, you're a fine gal, a fine woman, one of the finest women ever walked the streets. Any time you get nothing to do, lots of time to do it, come up. Come up again, any time. You bad girl. Mm, you'll find out. Am I making myself clear, boys? More than 20 years ago, Mae West wrote of herself, a real star never stops. She was one of Hollywood's great originals. John North, ABC News, Hollywood. And that's our report for tonight. I'm Tom Gerald. For Independent Network News, New York. Mae West, screen goddess and sex symbol for most of the 20th century, died today in her Hollywood home. The 88-year-old actress was recuperating from a stroke she suffered three weeks ago. Jeffrey Lyons gives us a look back at a lustrous and lustful career. She was an American original, Mae West, perhaps the only person whose name became part of the language, a Mae West life jacket. She was as accomplished a writer as she was an actress. Born in New York, August 17, 1892, Mae West began making movies in the early 30s, and her screenplays had lines like, it's better to be looked over than to be overlooked, and it's not the men in my life, it's the life in my men, and of course her most famous, I'll just come up sometimes, see me. After a scandalous Broadway career, which landed her in jail for a time because her play, Sex, was deemed too much even for the New York stage, she made her screen debut in 1932's Night After Night. And other films included I'm No Angel and My Little Chickadee. Like Chaplin, Fields, Groucho, and a handful of others, she was and always will be a movie caricature. Mae West, dead at 88. I'm Jeffrey Lyons, Independent Network News. The legendary stage and screen star died today in her Los Angeles apartment. She had been recovering there from a mild stroke suffered about four months ago. Although she claimed to be 88, some pegged her real age at 92. And one thing about Mae West is certain, however, she was one of a kind. Some blonde bombshell starred in vaudeville plays and films in the 1920s and 30s, writing most of her own dialogue. After a 27-year hiatus from filmmaking, she returned to the silver screen twice in the 1970s. Myra Breckenridge, made in 1970, was her first picture since 1943. And in 1977, Mae West played a film star on her honeymoon in a vehicle called Sextet. But she is best remembered for the brassy portrayals of her younger years. She became an inimitable sex goddess, delivering classic lines like the one to Cary Grant in I'm No Angel, made in 1933. I'm silly. I'm home every evening. Yeah, but I'm busy every evening. Busy? So what are you trying to do, insult me? Why, no, no, not at all. I'm just busy, that's all. You see, we're holding meetings in Jacobson's Hall every evening. Anytime you have a moment to spare, I'll be glad to have you drop in. You're more than welcome. I heard you. But you ain't kidding me any. You know, I met your kind before. Why don't you come up sometime, huh? Well, I... Don't be afraid, I won't tell. But, uh... Mae West did not languish in retirement. Although rarely seen in public in recent years, she lived in palatial splendor on a sizable fortune amassed by investing her movie money wisely in real estate. She will reportedly be laid to rest among other Hollywood greats in Forest Lawn Memorial Park. Mae West, a Hollywood legend, will always remember. Since symbol for most of the 20th century died today in her Hollywood home, the 88-year-old actress was recuperating from a stroke she suffered three weeks ago.
Jeffrey Lyons gives us a look back at a lustrous and lustful career. She was an American original Mae West, perhaps the only person whose name became part of the language, a Mae West life jacket. She was as accomplished a writer as she was an actress. Born in New York, August 17, 1892, Mae West began making movies in the early 30s, and her screenplays had lines like, it's better to be looked over than to be overlooked, and it's not the men in my life, it's the life in my men, and of course her most famous, I should pop sometimes, see me. After a scandalous Broadway career, which landed her in jail for a time because her play, Sex, was deemed too much even for the New York stage, she made her screen debut in 1932's Night After Night, and other films included I'm No Angel and My Little Chickadee. Like Chaplin, Fields, Groucho, and a handful of others, she was and always will be a movie caricature. Mae West, dead at 88. I'm Jeffrey Lyons, Independent Network News. West died alone in her elegant Hollywood apartment at the age of 88. John North reports on her career. Mae West was outrageously sexy during a time when sex symbols looked like Jean Harlow. She captured the imagination of Americans the way she captured a then unknown actor called Cary Grant in She Done Him Wrong. You know, I met your kind before. Why don't you come up sometime, huh? Well, I... Don't be afraid, I won't tell. But, uh... Come up, I'll tell your fortune. Ah, oh, you can be had. She Done Him Wrong is the film adaptation of her famous Broadway creation, Diamond Lil. Miss West often said of Lil, I'm her and she's me. And that was always a bawdy, independent lady who liked men, dealt with them on her own terms, and always lived by her own rules. I was so worried. Yes, Aunt Lou, I was in a tight spot, but I managed to weasel out of it. You always do. She was praised and she was condemned, but people loved her style and lined up to see her. And Mae West only made 13 movies. After 1943, she didn't appear in film again for 26 years. First in the controversial Myra Breckenridge, then a 1977 movie called Sextet, released the same year as this Hollywood birthday party. Yet, in only a few pictures, she earned a high place in film history. Oh, hello, Mickey. Ah, Lady Lou, you're a fine gal, a fine woman, one of the finest women ever walked the streets. Any time you got nothing to do, lots of time to do it, come up. Come up again. Any time. You bad girl. Mm, you find out. Making myself a clear, boy? More than 20 years ago, Mae West wrote of herself, a real star never stops. She was one of Hollywood's great originals. John North, ABC News, Hollywood. Well, when I'm good, I'm very good. Well, when I'm bad, I'm better. There'll be more on Miss West and more news when we get back. She was blonde and beautiful and deliciously bad. Mae West, one of the fabled first ladies of the great silver screen, is dead tonight. She died earlier today at her home in Hollywood where she was recuperating from a stroke suffered almost four months ago. Terry Drinkwater has a report for us. Ah, uh, you were wonderful tonight. I'm always wonderful at night. <laughs> yes, but tonight you were especially good. Well, when I'm good, I'm very good. But when I'm bad, I'm better. One-liners from Mae West. Today, they may seem only vaguely vulgar or comically camp. But you have to remember, back then, this lady was a shocker. I am a good boy. I am a good man. I am a good girl. What is this, propaganda? Ah, oh, Lady Lou, you're a fine gal. A fine woman. One of the finest women ever walked the streets. A menace to morals, said ministers. Bottle box office, said Broadway and Hollywood producers. Oh, the girls today. Goodness, a girl of diamonds. Goodness has nothing to do with it, Jerry. She grew up in Brooklyn, started in showbiz at age seven, dancing at the Elks Club, and discovered as she moved on to vaudeville and then to the movies that even in those tame times, nothing sold like sex. Why don't you come up sometime, huh? Well, I... Don't be afraid, I won't tell. But, uh... Come up, I'll tell your fortune. Looking back, she remarked that she never cussed, never took her clothes off. It wasn't what I said, she said, but how I said it. Well, it's not the men in your life that counts, it's the life in your men. <laughs> she may have been Hollywood's first liberated woman, and she carried on that way right up to the end. How do you spend your time these days? 
Busy, busy, busy. <laughs> Must come up and see me sometime. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'll do that, my little chickadee. Mae West was, perhaps, 87. Terry Drinkwater, CBS News, Hollywood.